Welcome to the first episode of Operation Curvy Calories. Hey guys, it's your girl Curvy Calories. We're back with another video. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about a couple of things here in this one video. Um, so yeah, so here goes my updates. So the very first thing that I do want to talk about is where have I been? So my cat decided she wanted to break the only way that I did record videos and I had to buy another camera. So and of course that was not cheap um, and I couldn't figure out how to work it until now. So <laughs> yeah, that's where I have been plus I have been working, you know, crazy. I have a full time job and yeah, so it gets overwhelming. Um, and just the second thing I want to say, just a little life update, um, trigger warning for mental health. I'm going to talk about a little bit of my depression. So I am still continuing on my weight loss journey. Um, I still am losing weight. Um, I am still working on that video that I told you guys I was going to post. I just haven't I guess I haven't made it in the way that I want it. Um, I'm kind of like a perfectionist when it comes to something like that. Um, because to me it's very important to make sure it's perfect, you know, because it can easily go south. Um, so I just want you guys to be able to understand my process on how I do things. No, I'm not a nutritionist. I did a lot of research. I talked to my doctor a lot. My doctor approved everything that I did and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, don't take advice from me. Definitely consult your doctors on anything like that. So, um, as you all know, I am married. Um, and my husband, he lives in another country. And I have been suffering really bad from depression. And I'm not trying to cry. <sighs> okay, so it's really hard for me to talk about the way that I feel. I am all my life the stone of everybody. You know, I grew up not really showing my emotions. Um, I am always have to be there for other people. You know, typical middle child <laughs> situation. Um, so it's really hard for me to kind of like open up, but... You know, you guys are my little calories, and you guys deserve for me to, you know, show that vulnerable side. Um, so yeah, I have been dealing with a lot of depression. Um, it's been about, it'll be a year since I saw my husband at the end of December. Um, I did go and stay for about two and a half months, um, and this year will be the first time I don't spend my anniversary with him, so... Yeah, it's been super hard. So, yeah, that's all the life updates that I do have. So, the third thing I want to talk about our girl, and I'm not going to be using her videos anymore. I am just going to talk about what was in those videos. I don't feel comfortable, you know, using her videos anymore. And it's not because she is copyright striking anybody. It's nothing because of that. It's just, I'm, you know, I don't want to give her, you know, that view, I guess, of me having to play that video multiple times to download, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to talk about the contents inside the video. I'm not going to be showing the entire video anymore unless we are going on live stream and we do like a live reaction. Um, then we can do it. Um, otherwise, but that's not going to happen until I get my new computer. Which is another thing. Um, so yeah, as you guys know, I have like an 8-year-old computer. I think this is still either Windows 7 or Windows 8. <laughs> um, I take very good care of my stuff, <laughs> apparently. Um, so yeah, the only thing that's like really wrong with it is it's just slow. The screen is starting to go out. And if you see me looking around, I do have notes everywhere for this video. Um, so yeah, we're working on a new computer as well, but no, I am not going to be using her videos anymore. Um, we're just going to chit-chat about what's inside those videos. So, uh, the fourth thing that I would like to talk about for, yeah. 
So the fourth thing I would like to talk about would be her cancer clickbait, or the big C word, clickbait. So, as you guys all know, she posted a video talking about um, ozempic thyroid cancer, which is all anybody saw. And she quickly changed the title to that video when she realized she didn't get the response that she wanted. And so she got a lot of backlash for that video. Um, and you can imagine why, because the only thing that she said was, yes, she knows that Ozempic can cause, um, there's a risk of thyroid cancer, but she's not worried about getting it. So, you know, it goes back to the whole estrogen situation. Um, she was more worried about getting cervical cancer when she had a total hysterectomy than she is about getting, you know, thyroid C word and she has her thyroid, which is kind of mind boggling to me, but hey, you know, that's our girl. I just think that for somebody who had went through that trauma of having the C word, um, as well as there are so many, so many of her viewers that are going through treatments now, and I feel for them. Um, they were not happy. I, for one, unsubscribed from her. As you know, the C word runs in my entire family. I have lost so many family members from that. Um, different types. I, for one, did not appreciate it. I lost, you know, what little respect I had for her. So, um, that's also going into why I'm not going to use her videos. I'm just going to talk about it. So, okay, the fifth thing. Ozempic is not working. I can tell that by her newer video because she's back to eating takeout and slushies and, you know, junk food. And in her bigger, her bigger video, her newer video, she does look like she did gain weight. Or at least to me in her face especially. Um, we all knew this was going to happen. Ozempic is not this miracle drug that you can just take. And it's going to lose the weight for you. You have to work for it. You know, from what I've read, from what, you know, even my viewers that are on Ozempic have been telling me, you can't take Ozempic and decide, oh, I'm going to eat a bunch of McDonald's and you're going to lose weight. It doesn't work that way. And I think she's thinking that it would. So, yeah, we all knew that was coming. We all knew Ozempic is about to end if she didn't already quit a long time ago. So the sixth thing that I want to talk about today is dun, 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 Stevie Wonder comment that she made. Oh my god. You guys. I think that... This is coinciding with back in the day when she was with Hannah and Rafe and she's wearing like all the black clothes talking about when did I become such a blackie but didn't understand what that meant. Um, I think this is kind of going back to those days to where she is seeing things and not thinking before she says it. Um, I don't think that was a comment I would have left in that video. I would have taken that video down and deleted that part. I would have never said that. You know, that is disgusting. It doesn't matter if they're a celebrity. It's just a total disgusting thing on why would somebody fake that? Why? Why would you sit there and think that would be something that he grew up struggling with all his life, he would fake it. She hates when people say that her C word wasn't real. She hates when people talk about her egg allergy, which now she's calling it an egg intolerance. Um, people, you know, she gets mad when people, you know, say anything. Oh, you're gaining weight, you're not losing weight, you're not doing this. You know, she gets pissed, but then she thinks it's okay to do it to other people. I just think it's purely disgusting. It's wrong of her. And that's going to go into number seven, which would be her apology about that. 
her apology was totally backhanded to me. There was a lot of what I feel is, I'm sorry, but... And the more that she tried to apologize, the worse it was getting. She didn't even apologize for the C-word clickbait. She didn't even apologize for that. When it offended so many people. It even offended people with their Stevie Wonder comment. And I think that she did it because she wanted drama and she needs the views. Um, I think that maybe her wifey or girlfriend are no longer together because she started calling her wifey now. And, of course, our girl is going through something again. So, which we all know what that means. So, yeah. Um, so those were the things that I did want to talk about today. So... Um, let me know what you guys think of this video, um, if we, you know, decide we want to go and revisit using her videos and stuff talking about them, definitely let me know. I can do that if that's what you guys like better, but for now, until we get there, we'll just do it this way. I like it. I will be getting a nice background here soon. Probably in the next couple weeks I'll have a really nice setup and everything will be great. So, anyways, as always, thank you guys for all of the support and for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!